What's up, guys? This is your boy, Ep Friday. Welcome to another episode of Pro Tools for Newbies, Part 3. I want to thank you guys for your patience, um, also for your support. You know, um, it's very much appreciated. I, was, I also want to say this, that, you know, I'm not a professional Pro Tools analysis type of dude. I'm, I just know how to get certain things done, and I can only teach you guys the way that I know how to do it. Now, you know, there's many other ways to do certain things, but, you know, um, i just like to help you guys out and show you how I get things done. So, with that being said, let's jump right into this. Um, I'm, I'm just, you know, messing around with this 16-bar um, track that I've been working on. Um, I'll just play a little bit for you guys. Okay, so um, yeah, I've been working on this right here, and um, today I'm going to show you guys how to um, load up effects onto your tracks, whether you're mixing or you're composing a new track. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to load up virtual instruments and effects such as EQs, compressors, reverb, and you know all that jazz. All right, so um, first I'm going to start with let's open up a VST instrument. Okay. So what I like to do first is I like to go to track, new. Um, we're gonna create one stereo instrument track. I'm gonna click create and let's bring this up here. And it's a lot easier in the mix window. So let's go to the mix window. You can go to windows, mix, or you can click control equal. Let's open this up. And as you can see up top, I already have effects on these tracks because I've been, you know, mixing a little bit. Um, but for this one, we just want to open up a virtual instrument, you know, to get some sounds or whatnot. Okay, so to do that, you find the instrument that you created, okay, and you scroll to the top, and there's one, two, three, four. There are five inserts. On the first one, you're going to click on it, and it's going to open up a menu. You're going to go to multi channel plugin which means stereo for your stereo tracks. If you do this, it'll be for your mono tracks. We're gonna go to stereo uh, plugins. We're gonna go down to instrument. And uh, depending on what versions of Pro Tools you have, um, it would already come with stock virtual instruments. I have Boom, DB33, the Mini Grand, which is really good, um, uh, Structure Free, vacuum and expand now expand is very 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 is a very good uh, plugin as far as sounds there's a wide variety of you know different instruments synths guitars pianos you name it okay so you just you know you can pick your instruments by going to default factory defaults and all these are sounds for you taking okay so that's how you open up a VST um, instrument Okay, so I don't need that, so I'm gonna close that. Now, let's say you're, you know, you're ready to mix or you're working and you wanna use an EQ somewhere. Let's open up an EQ. To open up an EQ would be the same thing. Okay, so um, I have my chant right here. Okay, I wanna, I wanna put an EQ on this chant. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top insert. I'm gonna go to plugin. Now this looks different because my chant track is a mono track because you can see that by you know the one level meter. Okay, so scroll up, plug in, EQ, and I'm just gonna load up a one band EQ. I'm just gonna take off 2K of this chant. Just bring it down a little bit. Let's see what, what we got. And you, you can bypass it, which means you can take the effect off and hear how the original sounds. Okay. 
No, that sounds much better. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. Okay, so that covers the, the, you know, this covers the area of effects, open up effects, opening up uh, VSTs. I'm trying to keep this as short as I can, so you guys, um, please try to hang in there with me. All right, so now let's go back to the edit, edit window. You can go to Window, Edit. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a little panning automation and volume automation. Okay? Now, I have a snare track right here that I want to, you know, do some panning, um, some panning automation to. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. You can place the cursor at the end of the track and just click and drag down. Okay. Um, now, there are many other ways to do um, automation, but I'm going to show you how I do this, um, you know, um, which I think is a lot better. Some people use sliders. Some people use the mouse. I just like to go in and plug it in myself. Okay, so um, I have these snares right here that I want to, um, you know, that I want to pan from left to right. Okay, I'll just play it for you real quick. Okay, um, I want to pan this from left to right. So how you put in pan and automation is you go to the left where your track is, your snare roll track, and you're going to click on waveform. When you click on that button, um, you get a menu. You can either do volume automation, mute, or pan. We want to do pan, so let's click on pan. When you click on pan, it's going to give you this transparency-like track. Um, in order to control the, you know, this line, this automation line, you're going to click on the hand, and then when you place the cursor over the track, it's going to give you a pointed finger. Um, the way I like to do is I like to click and drag my point a little bit before where I'm going to start doing my automation, just so the levels from here and back would stay at, you know, default. Okay, so I'm going to just place another point right here. I'm going to place one right here. I'm going to place one right here. One right here. And I'm just going to place one right here. And then I'm going to I'm going to put my safety point right here. So from here back this way, it will stay at 0. It will not move. It will lock in. Okay, so um, now if you look to the left, you have your left and right speakers. If you push this button up, it's going to go to the left. If you push it down, it's going to go to the right. Okay, so for the first one, I'm just going to pan it slightly. Let's say about 50, okay? The second one, I'm going to do the same to the left, about 50. Third one, I'm going to go extreme, extreme with it all the way down to let's say about let's give it a hundred and the next one I'm gonna take it to a hundred okay and this one I'm just gonna slightly let's say about 20 okay so now let's see how this sounds Now that sounds good to me. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in the speakers, but I hear it. And if you guys try it at home, you'll get the same effect. Um, I think this sounds amazing. Um, and yeah, this is basically uh, automating your pan left and right. Okay, and the same would be for volume. If you want to pan automate your volume, you go back to pan, click on the menu, click on volume and you can set your points the same way okay now i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna automate the volume because i don't need to but um you guys can try it yourself um when you're mixing recording vocals it's all the same thing um this is just about covers it for pro tools for newbies part three um appreciate your, your support appreciate you guys watching the video um rate comment subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.